converts at 10 a.m. in Utsunomiya City, 140 kilometers southwest of the nuclear power plant. It says that's more than 30 times the usual radiation level. The Chiba Prefectural Government says it measured 0.074 microsieverts at 6 a.m. in Ichihara City, 218 kilometers from the nuclear power plant. The University of Tokyo professor Keiichi Nakagawa says the higher than usual radiation in Tokyo is thought to be connected to the radiation leak from the nuclear power plant in Fukushima. But he added that the current level is very low and won't affect human health at all. Radioactive substances emitted from nuclear power plants contain iodine and rare gases. Here's what people can do to minimize the risk of radiation exposure. Windows and doors should be closed and air conditioners or other forms of ventilation turned off. When outdoors, people are advised to wear masks or cover their mouths and noses with wet towels or handkerchiefs to prevent inhalation of radioactive substances. Skin should be exposed as little as possible. Measures should also be taken to prevent internal exposure through inhalation and consumption of food. Accumulation of radioactive substances can have long-term health effects. When returning home from outdoors, change clothes and wash hands and faces. People should also avoid drinking tap and well water and eating food that has been left outdoors. Tokyo Electric Power Company says the Fukushima No. 2 plant had safely stopped all four of its reactors as of Tuesday. The No. 2 plant is 11 kilometers from the troubled No. 1 plant. There were problems with the reactor's cooling system after the devastating earthquake on Friday. After Tokyo Electric replaced the pump mortars, that is, the temperatures in the reactors had dropped below 100 degrees Celsius by Tuesday. The confirmed death toll from Friday's earthquake and tsunamis has reached nearly 2,500. At least 15,000 people are unaccounted for. About half a million people are in shelters. Miyagi Prefecture has 1,000